that those are sharp and pointy too so right. <laughs> come on in let's meet these babies she does not know her yeah right. her sense of depth so she'll come to us if we call her Maisie Bean we're over here hi Dylan May I'm over here come here Maisie Bean it's super cute when she gets the zoomies <laughs> but and she's blind and I'm always holding my breath at the same time watching her I'm like no <laughs> but she does pretty good she's in this pasture because it's pretty square there aren't any trees out in the middle where she can like not know it this is Dylan this is Talani hi Talani hey Dylan Dylan is our king he's the he's the alpha of this herd he has a thyroid issue hence why he's really thin but but you can tell by looking at the two different one is a dairy breed and one is a meat breed, right? So the dairy breed are really thin in the hips. So you can see he's got, so, uh, hi, hi, Dylan. Hi, hi. Hello. That's Dylan. Hi. Yeah, yeah. You can tell a uh, cow's age by his horns. Did you guys know that? <laughs> I did not know like, that. Like, um, kind of like a, the trees, a circle. So you, they, they have a, his are really hard, but usually it's pretty easy, but it's usually the discoloration. It's a different color in every year. Maisie Bean, come here. <laughs> so Talani is a meat breed. Maze is a meat breed. Dylan is a dairy breed. Um, so they put all their calories into milk, right? I mean, right. We've, we've done that to them. We've forcibly changed their dynamics so that they're really thin in the hips. So good rule of thumb on all dairy breeds, whether it's the cows or the sheep or the goats, is you should be able to feel their ribs but not see them, but you will always see their hips. Yeah. Unfortunately, they always have really skinny hips. So that's Dylan. All our boys are steer. They have no balls. Talani is a meat breed. Hi, Talani. Her mother was. Hey, um, her mother, unfortunately, was shot at birth because she had a rough birth, and they didn't think she'd make it. So they called me, and we went and picked her up. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Never get her a vet, right? Oh no. Not call a doctor. Maisie Bean. Maisie! Leo, Leo, that cow sitting down is, um, he's the most expensive cow in history, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was, uh, he was born in a slaughterhouse. Oh, um, we pulled, I tried to pull the mom, but we, we couldn't, so we just pulled him. Probably sunscreen. Uh, um, Sorry, buddy. So we pulled him, I, I tried to get them to let me pull mom, but they slit her throat, and, um, and so he was really sick. So I spent the first 15 days of his life and I see you in a hospital. And so it cost us about $5,200 to save his life. Wow. <laughs> They'd call me and they're like, oh, he needs another plasma treatment. I said, oh, what are we at now? And they're like 5,000. I'm like, oh, what's another 200 bucks? I mean, at this point, <laughs> uh, you, you have to try. You have to. Yeah, yeah. So now he's a, uh, he just turned uh, four. 
So he's a healthy four-year-old. Maisie oh. Bean. Hi. Hi, Maisie. Hi, right here. Right here. Hi. Huh? Hi. 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 You come pet Maze? Yeah, okay. Oh, hey, Tawani. Uh, Maze. <laughs> Tawani is Maze. Maisie Bean. Here, Maze. Maisie. Now, th so she's, um, we're big Marvel fans here, so she's at, from Mazakin from Lucifer show. <laughs> we have a Lucifer, by the way, too. And then oh, nice. Uh, yeah, we have a, we have them all. Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You can come touch her. She's really sweet. <laughs> yep. Amazing. Y'all can go. So she's naturally pulled, which means she doesn't have any horns. Most beef breeds, watch your feet. Oh. Um, um, oh, Annie's coming up on her. Uh, she's doing some. Uh, no, none of the animals here are dehorned. So if they don't have horns, it means they were born that way. They're, they're pulled. Um, and the difference is, is um, I always tell people their horns are actually, they serve a purpose and it's definitely not protection. Um, other can their purpose is it, it helps them dissipate their body heat. So um, if you dehorn them, you have a sicker cow. So they don't know how to regulate their um, their extreme temperature differences. So they get sick more often. Um, whereas the pulled cows, like Leo, his ear canals are super wide. So they've evolved to dissipate their body heat through their big ear canals. Wow. Whereas the dairy cows have not. Their, their tongues are like um, sandpaper. Have you ever been licked by a cow? Mm -hmm. I mean, it literally it will take your skin off on some of them. You're going to meet his brother out there, and his brother is three times his size. So he just, uh, we figure it had something to do with it. Uh, he's, he's, gr he's full grown now, so he's not going to get bigger. He should be about 15 to 1,800 pounds, and he's 800. Oh, wow. He's so soft. I know. He has a really thick fur. He really is. But you see, they, you can't see his hips. There's no hips. Neat breed. I love him. He's <laughs> such a sweet boy. Maze's story was, um, Maze was born, um, born with cataracts, which are actually fixable. The problem was, is that's not what made her blind. What made her, it made it hard for her to see. What made her blind were untreated eye infections. So they let it go for too long. And what happened is the cornea fused um, to the pupil. And so there was no going back from that. We couldn't fix it. Um, although she did have a very, um, she had a, a super bad infection in her stifles, which is on her, on the legs. Um, when we got her, it, it she had to be in the hospital for about 10 days. They had to go in every day and anesthetize her and flush out the um, stifles. Because once the um, infection gets in the bone, it's really, really hard to treat. Right. So. Perhaps. Oh <laughs> my goodness, we gotta get some fly stuff on you. I love him. Isn't he so sweet? <laughs> He's a sweetheart. He really, really, really is. I'm tag in Maze's ear is required by law. That shows that she's been tested for tuberculosis, which is a disease um, that female heifers get. That watch it, watch behind us. That causes them to abort. Hey, hey, Macy. Hey, Macy. So when we moved Can you hear me? Hello. Hi, Macy Bean. Macy. Hey, Macy. Macy. Hello. Macy, right here. Right here, Macy. Hi. Hi. Oh, this is a good girl. It's a good girl. Watch your toes. Watch your toes. <laughs> Each one of these babies eats about 24 to 26 pounds of food a day. Oh, yeah, wow. I believe it. Which is pretty typical for um, for a cattle that's a, a dairy cow in milk. Eats 110 to 120 pounds of food per day. Do you have to substitute the round bills? Yeah, we do. We do. Well, we don't. Uh, round bills are hard to come by this year. Really? Yeah. Um, really hard um, but we are just now coming off of there's still I'm still supplementing a little bit but uh, but in the winter time I go through 1200 pounds of food a day yeah the reason why we don't feed alfalfa either we just feed grass because alfalfa is too high in protein so uh, production farms don't care 
because they're not going to live long lives anyway. So for a sheep or goat, it's slaughtered from six months to eight, nine months, right? Or a cow, usually nine months to 18 months, somewhere in that period. So they really don't care if they're going to get stones because they'll just process them early. Whereas we do care, so we, we, we feed no grain at all. I wait till they're laying down, run up, jab them with a, with a and then take off as fast as I can. Why they're still on the ground sleeping. <laughs> I see any way I can do it. I mean, <laughs> the only way I can do it, especially with the big boys who you're going to meet. All right, let's go to the... Yeah. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hey. shape so took them directly to and we had a, he was about six weeks old so his actually his uh, left front leg is actually moved center mass so he's actually Sorry, become buddy. like a tripod hey, and cool. um, man he can haul ass he can jump he can run yeah he's uh, he's pretty spectacular and the muscles in his shoulders are pretty amazing he's a meat breed he's what they call a Kiko and then the one right there pearl the black and white one so she was born with half legs on her front. She has prosthetics. She's not a real fan of them. We've tried two different versions of it. She prefers to not wear them. I worked up for her. She's a dairy breed. She's an alpine. Hi. Hi. She's cute. Yeah. That's Lovebug. Lovebug is a spent dairy goat. We got her at an auction for a dollar. She was going to slaughter and I figured she was about 12 years old. She had no teeth. She was blind from um, untreated eye infections, which we actually have reversed. So she's, we, she's been with us about two years now and we, she, we thought she'd die in months. So. Hey. Pearl's a sweet girl. I love bug. Oh, you see you see a strap, you're gonna eat? <laughs> yeah. So this black and white goat, this um this is Jane Doe. She just got to us about six weeks ago. Uh, she um some people called me and um I mean, people get goats and they just they have no idea what they're getting to. When they bought her at auction, she was already spent. They should never have been pregnant. Um, so they called me and she lost her, uh, her twins. Her twins died at birth. Um, basically, I don't know what happened, but, uh, but they died. She was depressed. She wasn't eating. Um, and she had a really high fever. So um, I convinced them to let, let her, let me take them. That's Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Yeah. So, what happened to his leg? So that's a condition called spider legs. So um, interesting enough, a lot of times, they, um, unfortunately, a lot of times it affects the spine. So when that happens, um, they have to be euthanized because they can't get around. But um, only his front two legs were bad. It didn't affect any of her back, his back legs or his spine. We did all kinds of CTs on him. But the one leg is fused like this, uh -huh. um, and even if we had broken it, it wouldn't have worked. So we may one day have to amputate it, just because he uses it like a crutch. See, so he walks with it, but right now he's not. It's not a problem with it, so we, we haven't done anything. But it took months to build up his other leg, which is his right front leg, so that it was strong enough to handle his weight because sheep get really heavy. Yeah. Um, so and he's. Ooh, He's just about three and a half now. Um, so he is full grown. He shouldn't get any bigger. I think this is what he's Yeah, don't bring that in. A, don't, never bring food in with pigs. Oh, never. Eat my bag. <laughs> they can smell it. They can like smell it like a mile away. Their, their nose is right on. Ah. Turkey is puffed up. He's, uh, that's charming. He never unpuffs. Uh, either does, that's the other one's too furky. Oh, hello, Joe. What's up? This is Joel. He's a love sicking you. <laughs> so that long thing over his head is what they call his cue. So he changes and left his 
Francis face, he's changes his butt to the floor. <laughs> Uh, that's charming. Oh, he's friendly. Okay. But he's obsessed with cameras. Yeah. Obsessed with them. <laughs> he's like me. He likes cameras. They truly are dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> that one comes back. They're very well here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. With Joel. Yeah. Camera's still good. <laughs> Unless he catches anything. This is like eyeballing your arm now. <laughs> <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> Come on. It doesn't hurt. Okay. You feel like a almost. Yeah, their feathers are, um, usually there's some on the ground someplace. Their feathers are, are very unique. It's either like yeah, a yeah. devil feather. Chicky is a hen. And she is a um, she's a bronze, which is basically at one point they were the bronze are the wild turkeys here in Arkansas too. Yeah, so he's that's called drumming. Oh. Yep. But there's always like an also a an alpha female in the group. So um, in Oregon, we had a lot of turkeys. Um, we, luckily, we rehomed a lot of them. But um, when when you have a lot of females, there's always going to be a dominant female. And when they the females will fight for that position, and the entire time the male turkey is just sitting there watching the fighting going on. And when the final fem the female wins, she actually comes over. She sits down by him. He puts his wing around her, and they pay homage to them. Every every other female comes up and pays homage to him. I have so many videos like of this. It's so cool. Man. It's just amazing. <laughs> and typically, she'll have a little bit of a beard. And I don't know if she grows it because she's got some testosterone in her. I don't. I don't know how that science <laughs> I mean, that maybe works. Maybe that's how she becomes alpha male. You and know, it could very well be that. It could very well be that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's go see some piggy. Let's go see some piggy. Hi, Willa. Hi, Pinky. Hi, Willa. Yeah, we're coming to see you. Are you going to be a good girl for us? Huh? It's okay. It's okay. I know everything scares you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. I have no food. Look, I do have some uh, pineapple. Um, it's, you, you can come in. We have some pineapple. Jack is a little blind and a little fearful. Um, like in, when thunderstorms happen, he runs in circles. I have to come out here and coax him. And he gets so. He, I and I don't know what his story was before he came to us, but he's really old. Hi, hi. Pigs are all about drama. They're always talking in here and everybody, and a lot of mediators will say, well, if you ever go to a pig farm, they're, and they are always talking. They do talk to each other and there's always drama, but it's not the same sounds as you hear in a slaughterhouse. They're totally different sounds. And I tried to have this conversation with somebody on Tech Deck the other day. And they do have little squabbles, but honestly, they're very much a, a, a tight-knit family. And our alpha over there um, tried to teach it to her, but we'll just... So Willow's uh, over here with these guys. Uh, Boo Bear. These two are brothers. They were actually born here. Their mother came to us uh, as an abuse case. Um, she had uh, eight babies. Um, that two, uh, six of them were successfully rehomed to other sanctuaries. And then these two moved with us. <laughs> Boo. Hi, Boo Bear. <laughs> I know. Once you start petting, they don't ever want their bellies. Just don't, don't. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack Spratt. There's something about Jack that is just so loving and so sweet. Yeah. I love him. The old ones are what really get to me that had the really hard lives most of their lives. 
So it's pretty common. Um, one of the biggest things with pigs yeah. is everybody overfeeds them, right? So they so they come here usually fat, super fat. And what happens with the pot bellies is the rolls shut their eyes. So it's also called fat blind. He actually can see a little bit now, but not as good. And yes, every male, every male pig is going to have tusks. So at his age, nobody will, nobody will t um, actually put him under because you, you can... Once a year, I usually take them to a vet, and then they anesthetize them, and then they um, they cut them back, and then they grow some more. He's too old; they won't do that. He it would be it would be a risk to put him under. Oh my God, he's never done that for anybody. Um, he went to belly it's too rubs. much of a risk. <laughs> he would probably die under anesthesia because we think he's probably around fifteen. Oh, hey, Willa. I think this needs to lose about 100 pounds. <laughs> She's lost about 20 since she got here. She just got here ooh, about six months ago. <laughs> Ignoring you, Dale. I'm so sorry. Oh, but what are we ignoring you to do? I have your pineapple already. We'll give you guys some pineapple in a little while. Do they ever get jealous of each other? Not usually. Um, and not in this pen. Right. Um, in this pen over here, yes. This one over here, the one we're gonna go do. Willa, it's okay. Willa. Willa. Hi. Hi, Willa. Yeah, she's a hard one to get to know. Um, and she's not spayed. Really cute. It was a hard man. It was so hard to get him integrated. Not not just with us, but I mean, he spent the first five years of his life with people. And pigs are very, they attach very easily to people. And they have this super big bond. And so it was really hard for him. Really hard. as opposed to these giant things hanging out. Yeah. Even our cows have the small ones. Um, so that it's not this giant thing. But, but um, I mean, I mean, I, I, I can't tell you. I'm trying to... Okay, Dale, we're going to move on. You, you don't need any more. <laughs> you don't need any more love. They do. And when you, they can't do it, then they're not living the life that they're happy doing. Now, they destroy everything, <laughs> as you can see. Um, I always say the little pig landscape and the big pig moonscape. So they decimate everything. She's a foreign pig too, right? She's part Yorkshire and part Duroc. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at those ears. <laughs> Hunters are alpha. Into and they, they tassel with each other all the time, especially the young ones. Hey guys, for dominance. And but he took a hit, and I knew immediately something was wrong. And so I went over there, and he was spurred. So there's the horns have major blood supplies to them, so he's spurting blood. So I had to go grab oh, some wow. plants, clamp them, and take off and drive two hours to get somebody to amputate the rest of his horn for me. Let's <laughs> decline. This is Thor. Hi, Thor. <laughs> That's a dairy breed. Off 
often than not, what happens is if, they, if they're prone to it, they'll, they'll, get, they'll get it again. So within two weeks, he had more stones. So we had to do something called a marsupialization where they actually cut a hole into his stomach so he could be um, now just piece directly from, from his bladder outside. Um, and that'll buy him a couple of years of life. Um, Oh yeah, we're done. Rain's all gone, we'll go back out. Oh, hi, Sitcha. Hi, Sitcha. <laughs> You're always smiling. They seem very friendly. Goats are very friendly. Hi, Sitcha. Hey, y'all. That's Sitcha. I'm cold. Oh, what are they called? The Damascus goat. Do you have any Damascus goats? No, so she's, um, she's a Nubian. Um, Nubian, um, Nubian are probably the most famous dairy breed. Oh, hey, Kenny. You know what gets me is how similar their bottom teeth are to ours. So they're very close to ours. Um, and you know, so most of their, most of their up, upper thing is, there's really nothing there. So they have what they call a dental palate, but they do have back molars. <laughs> That's Kenny. Hey, Kenny. <laughs> Delilah is so friendly. She's my little imp. She is so smart. She can like figure anything out. If there's a gate with a latch on it, she's the first to open it. She's a sweet little girl. <laughs> Goats are so cool. <laughs> Got a goat mosh pit. <laughs> that thing! There he is. I love it, boy. What's up? Nip. Nip. He's a Guernsey. Zeppelin. Here's our big boy. He's coming right here, black and white one. What's up, lover boy? What's up? Hi. I'm trying to take my finger off. Hi. Oh, it's hey, camera. buddy. It's okay. It's Hi. A camera. It's okay. Hi. It's okay, buddy. Hey, dude. Oh, I'm going to get that, though. Ah, now there's that one. What you give me a horn, dude? What you give me a horn? Huge. Yeah, he's 2,300 pounds. <laughs> Domino, and then that one out there is Bowie. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Hello. I probably taste like suntan lotion, to be honest with you, bud. Yeah, they pass their heads around. They don't realize that they're always pressed Hey, buddy. Oh, Hello. Bowie, what was that? This is Bowie. <laughs> What's up, Domino? <laughs> What's up, Peppy? Watch some cards, dude. In hormones. Oh. So probably one of the females has been um uh, Hi guys, what's up? Hi. Hey, what's up? Um it's how they sniff the, it's how they taste test the air to see um right that yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's his name again? Is that Zeus? Zeppelin. Zeppelin. Okay. That's Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Great band. I had to go that way. Like, I had to start down that way. Now that I've seen it, I have to go.
I pulled off the freaking highway. Really? Here in Arkansas. Except wow. for the white one. The white one's been with me for six years now. Ah! <laughs> Alright, anybody else want to hold a rooster? He's very timid, so the other rooster's a mouth. A selling point to me, black meat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just would not. I just, I'm just all hung up on the meat part, and then the thought of it being black. Well, there's no. I, he's two pounds. Yeah. There's nothing on him. I mean, just, <laughs> yeah. uh, we got we got a bunch of cats. <laughs> That's Newt. So we've got uh, five cats currently, and one barn cat. I can't ever. <laughs> <laughs> His spurs. Yeah. You just need to be cat food. Do you want a grape? No. No. How about you? How about your grape? That why somebody's holding you? out um, so just like humans um, so right now we, tr we treat him with CBD um, and it, it, it helps with the pain um, oh I, I love this bird so so much so do you feel how hot his uh, carbuncles are so have you felt his head or, or the carbuncles right here yeah they're hot mm -hmm. hi handsome boy love this boy so much Oh, are you going to have sex with my foot now? Hmm? So handsome. See how he pushes air down to here? Mm hmm They're so handsome. You are. You're so handsome. It's one thing everybody's surprised about, how soft turkeys are. It's the oil that makes him. <laughs> so Annie says, hey, what about me? Hello. The, the two boys don't like pineapple, so it's not a big deal for them. You can each get one more piece. You want to? I'm recording. Somebody else can get it. You all want to? Maisie, Maisie, you have to put, you have to, she's, she, Maze, Maze, talk to her so she knows you where go. you're at. There you, you go. go. Tell me how the girls like it, but the, none of the boys like pineapple. <laughs> oh. oh, no! Oh, okay, okay, we'll find it. <laughs> we'll find it. <laughs> it's the citrus juice. Cal almost ate my hand. Yeah, watch your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Old crew. So who wants to feed Peter? Oh, I don't have this. If you want to feed him, I can film him too. That's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we run out of time, I'll try to mm -hmm. delete some B-roll or something Peter, Peter. Else. All right. Willie really says he wants one. That's Willy really Wonka. Mochi! Mochi's 
Oh, Our tail's wagging. <laughs> Snacks? All right. Just start feeding. She may not eat it. She's, she's never really, but this one will. <laughs> Watch your fingers. <laughs> Pearl would, oh, she probably won't. The baby's probably. Oh no, you already had one. This is their one's one. <laughs> hey, buddy. Pearl! Pearl! Yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Grapes? Oh, bad for who? Uh, for, um, they are like dogs. <laughs> they are. They're suddenly like dogs. They truly are. You had one. You had one. Raya! Raya! <laughs> Reaper! Oh, I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey tofu. He had a bacterial infection that had breached the, um, breached the blood brain barrier, so he was on like antibiotics for like six months, and it was ten bucks a day for the pill. Oh, he was hungry, wasn't he? <laughs> Why did they pull back? So <laughs> 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 like, don't. Off. I like the way they took <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> it's right here, baby. Here Athena. Athena. Here Athena. Athena. Oh, oh, oh. Athena. There's, there's <laughs> Athena. 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 There you go. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. If Takari was here, he'd be drinking it. He's a little brat. <laughs> I know. It's so funny, but like every calf I've ever had has a heart on their forehead. 